Nah, that's not right. Try something different. Nah, that, that's not right either. Let's, let, let's, let's do something else. Uh, no, I give up. <laughs> John, loosen out. Center him up. Tilt down just a bit. Good. I want him right in the dead center of the frame. That is perfect. It's much easier to get what you want when you know how to talk to your crew. We're going to talk about that on today's Two Real Guys. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. And I'm Norman Holland. And welcome to The Two Real Guys. Norman, several shows ago we talked about collaboration. Mm -hmm. Collaboration is at the heart of the creative process because it's more than just actors. It involves the crew just as well. Absolutely. There's a tremendous amount of work that goes into producing this podcast, for instance, as well as any production that you're going to work on. What's that you got there, Larry? Oh, these things that I just happen to have <laughs> sitting on my lap. <laughs> is there a story behind these? <laughs> there is indeed. I got my start doing live video, and I was both a producer and a director, so I thought I'd bring in a couple of the notebooks that I used to produce some of the shows. Mm -hmm. For instance, this one here is a show that I did that had a cast of 200 people, and it had a crew of 85, seven cameras. It was a live four-hour event. Wow, and that's a lot of notes you had to take. There. It was, and the thing is, you know, we talked about this a few episodes ago. If you don't plan, what you end up with is a catastrophe. And we have first-hand experience <laughs> <laughs> of what a catastrophe can actually look like. But the reason for bringing these today is that I wanted to talk about what was, I think, the most helpful part of this entire live broadcast. The first day, as we were starting to load in gear, I got everybody in, everybody on the crew, everybody on the cast, mm -hmm. and I sat everybody down. We did a 45-minute meeting to describe what the show was, what we were doing, where we were doing it, why it was involved, what are the logistics, where did people sit, where do you park, and then from the, the general, we got into the specifics. This is the set, this is the kind of wait, lighting. Wait, wait, st stop for a second. You mean that you took time out from your shooting day, at the beginning of your shooting day, to just sit around and have a meeting? Yeah, I plead guilty. That's exactly what I did. I sat everybody down and I said, we're all going to hear this because if we don't understand what page we're starting from, how do we know where we're going to end up? And what I found is that if I spend the time at the beginning of a project to orient the crew, <laughs> everybody is on page and, and we can now start to actually make sense of the whole project that we're putting together. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is I want to get in there, I want to hang on lights, I want to start shooting roll tape, playback, everything. But the problem is, is that suddenly the crew is running in all directions, and, mm -hmm. and suddenly production design puts a, a, a set piece where audio needs to put a microphone. I can't mic it, so people's lips are moving. You can't hear anything, and lighting has got shadows everywhere because we didn't spend the time together to plan how this stuff works. Mm -hmm. So in that meeting, do you show them that book? Do you go over specific things that are in that book? What, what's the content of that 45 minute meeting? The level of pain necessary to show people everything in that book would be too great, but I do use the book as a guide to say these are the key things that we need to understand. This is the general look, this is the general action. So this is prep for you that enabled you then to meet that whole crew and start from the general and begin to get specific with what they needed. It's a collaborative process. I need to have the talent understand what they're doing, but I need to have the crew understand what they're doing. And if I don't put everybody on the same page, then we're all going in different directions. Remember we talked about acting before. If you don't give the actors a story, they'll invent their own and suddenly mm -hmm. realize that, that one people are doing a sports cast, another group is doing a live event. So everybody's at cross purposes, which mm -hmm. does no good. You gotta get everybody on the same page. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we actually had something like that here for, for today. You've got a uh, nice bright yellow shirt on, right? So that uh, if, if you had just shown up without any prep ahead of time, our DP wouldn't have known what to do with that shirt. Well, I, I did show up with the whole shirt. And he didn't know. And, and he didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> and so, so what, what happened, do we learn from that? What happened was it then took 20 minutes out of the day to get this thing relit. Whereas if I'd have said ahead of time, you know, I'm going to have this nice light shirt, he would have been ready because, again, I didn't do the planning. And mm -hmm. so I learned from this to 
you know, maybe tell people ahead of time what's going on. <laughs> right. So h- how do you talk with them? What is, what, what's the language that you can use? Because as we all know, all the different elements of production and post-production uh, have their own jargon. While I am not the world's best lighting or audio person, I understand what their job is and I can speak to that job mm-hmm. and help communicate the picture, the sound that I've got in my mm-hmm. mind to them to make sure that we're all on the same page. Right. So you wouldn't necessarily say, I want this F-stop. But what you would say is, this is what I want it to look like on the other end of the lens. And that's exactly it. If you're in a collaboration, you don't want to tell the other person how to do their job. But you do want to share with them what what heads toward that story and gets the result that I want that helps them to figure out how to get their job done in the least amount of time with the greatest amount Mm -hmm. of effect. Now, that's that's you had a huge crew there, right? So does this change if you're doing it by yourself or with a very small crew? Well, if it's by yourself, you've already spent time in your planning getting yourself ordered. But you had a lot of prep in order to do that. Still need to do that prep. Whether you're in the industry starting out or you've been in industry for a long period of time, the one thing that you don't want to do is to plan because it's not sexy. The sexy part is production. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have successful production, you have to plan. Mm -hmm. And when you spend the time planning and you spend the time orienting the crew, you have much, much more success. It's all about communication. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to tell your DP, uh, I want this particular F-stop, then how do you have that creative discussion about this very technical topic? By not telling them how to do their job, but by saying this I respond to or that I don't respond to within the context of the story, and to say this works, this doesn't work, or we have a technical objection here, we've got to figure out a way to solve it. Mm -hmm. It's communication, it's sharing with them the result of what they're doing on the story and the show that we're trying to create, Mm -hmm. as opposed to say, you know, do this or do that just because you're trying to be arbitrary. And it's really helpful, therefore, if you know what they need to do in order to do their job. And time is so critical. The more that you can use it in language that that is the jargon that they use, assuming that you know what you're talking about, Mm -hmm. then the more successful you're going to be at communicating in shorthand, in short periods of time to get the work done that you need. It It all comes back to the story. Right, so that your collaborators can then bring their own A-game to it to help you tell the same story. Everybody should be on that same page. It's all about communication. Communication and collaboration. And we'll be right back with a tip after this. Just as you need to orient your cast, you also need to orient your crew. When everyone understands the logistics and the storyline, your whole shoot becomes more focused and efficient. The key is to communicate. Telling stories visually is a collaborative process, collaboration between you and your cast and your crew. Spend the time getting your crew oriented the same way that you spend time getting your cast oriented so everyone understands the story. Learning how to speak their language goes a long way to solving problems during production. My name is Larry Jordan. His name is Norman Holland. Thanks for watching The Two Real Guys.